Mm -mm, you can have it all, Jamie. With Phoebe's big bucks, you can pay the decades of tuition it would take you to become a doctor. With one tiny, perfect condition, you have to shake Babe. Did Phoebe have you nailed or what? I'm so sorry. This is insane. I love a good message from beyond. I'm dying to hear Phoebe's last words from me. Be careful what you wish for. Read on, sir. Read on. And I believe J.R., more than anyone, knows what a dreadful mistake Jamie made getting involved with Babe. <laughs> Amen, Phoebes. Amen. I also believe he still loves his brother. I do, Jamie. Deep down inside, I do. Which is why I'm putting him in charge of Jamie's trust. <laughs> what? Is this for real, Will, or some kind of joke? I never thought she would stoop to do something like this. There are additional directives. But don't keep him salivating. JR must monitor his brother. When he's certain that Jamie has dumped that Lucy, he may release Jamie's funds and open doors for him at all the best schools with my personal letters. But not one second before Babe is banished from his life. Oh, God. Oh, sorry. You have nothing to be sorry for. No, oh, that's debatable. Someone else saw Babe for the loser that she is and actually did something about it. God bless Aunt Phoebe. You can take her money straight to hell. And say hi to Aunt Phoebe, because after this, she just might be down there. Maybe I should go? No, if you wanted to be a Martin, stick around. Jamie, try not to get angry. One way or another, we're going to solve this. No, it's already solved. My mind's made up. If you take this deal, you can get into medical school. Start your own country practice, do some research, or whatever your doctorly heart desires. You really won the lottery here. You know, it doesn't say anything in that will about breaking your face. J.R., you don't hold all the cards. You're not the only one who can write checks and pull strings. But why fight it when he can just go for the gold? Aunt Phoebe has offered you a second chance. Come on, it's just a matter of time before you wise up and see Babe for the dish rag that she really is. Cut your losses. Go for the loot. You call her one more name, and you lose all your teeth. Cut the act, they are. You know, you don't give a damn what happens to your brother. I have a legal and moral obligation to follow all instructions on this will. Isn't that right? Please, JR. Jamie, let's talk. Would you agree to be the executor? Definitely. You know what? Sign me up, sue me if I don't follow through on all my duties. But one thing that I don't understand is how long I have to wait till after Jamie leaves, babe, before I can sign the check. This reeks of you. You took advantage of Aunt Phoebe when she was sick, got her to put in that lame demand about babe. I would love to take the credit, because this is inspired. But I haven't had connection with Aunt Phoebe in years. Yeah, like I believe you. Jamie, can we discuss this in private? Are you coming over to my side, Brooke? I will never be on your side, JR. But I get the feeling you're not on Babe's side either. Look at that. The Anti-Babe Association is growing so fast. Maybe we should get some T-shirts. Can I use the money for that? I'm not taking this deal, Mom. Can we just talk? Honey, I had no idea that you wanted to be a doctor. Come on, James. Make your mother proud for a change. Stop sacrificing your life for this piece of trash. Oh, easy. This is Phoebe's decision. You can do a pulp is not going to prove anything. Oh, but think how much I'd enjoy it. It's time for you to make your decision. Whatever that is, with her money or without it, I'm behind you 100%. No matter what, as long as it doesn't involve turning him into hamburger. Uh, Ted, I'm, I'm just gonna take off. No, you're not. I told you, I'm taking you home. Just go ahead, I can handle this. I'll talk to you as soon as I get back from Wild Wing. <laughs> All right, listen up, because I'm only gonna say this once more. I love Dan Phoebe, but I will not, will not accept her pathetic excuse for a will. Don't do it, Jamie. Don't give us the money. There's no way I'm taking the money, babe. And Phoebe was wrong about everything. And JR in control of my future? It'll make me sick. She just wanted us to kiss and make up, little brother. Oh, there's not enough money in the world to make that happen. This is not just about the money. Exactly. We only want the best for you, Jamie. Oh, in what parallel universe? You and babe defeated, humiliated, and alone. Yeah, that too. I'm staying with you. Go with my aunt's plan B for the money. I'm out. Jamie. 
Can we discuss your other options first? There's nothing to discuss. And whatever happens to the money now is Mr. Chandler's decision. He's in charge of the trust. Sweet. Maybe I shouldn't break you two up. Now, what can I do with all of that money? Amy, I don't want you to do anything rash. Let me talk to Olivia first. No, no, there's no need, Mom. Aunt Phoebe may have interfered in your life, but she's not going to do it in mine. I don't want the inheritance. I need to talk to you, alone. She's going to work you over, man. No, I'm going to work you over, but you don't get the hell out of here. Look, do whatever you want. It's your life. I've got no bad options in this scenario. God bless you, Aunt Phoebe. Uh, let's leave you two alone to talk. <laughs> I am so sorry that she's putting you through this, both of you. I walked into this room today with no money. How much does my life change if I walk out the same way? Honey, there are other ways around this, and we will solve it. I am almost ready to take J.R. on myself. I'll handle him. All right, see you guys later. <laughs>